Speaking of uh, German stuff, um, I want a sh- quick shout out to these guys. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. They've they've done some stuff with yes with yes theory. Uh, yeah, the Zach and Jay show. Uh, these two uh, English YouTubers. They are. Okay. Or, I should say they're from the UK. They're not both English, but uh, they went to Bergheim, that club. Uh, is it in Germany? It's in Germany, right? Oh, is this why you were talking about it? Yeah, yeah, because they they got in, and they decided not to divulge. What? It, it's in Berlin. Yeah, so it's in Germany. Um, this is the one we would have went to. I mean, I don't think we could have gotten into this because basically, they they say that it's run they it's run by this guy. I, I don't know his name, but basically, some people wait, you know, three four hours in line and just just get turned down. Okay. <laughs> and so they they kind of go around the town and and they're dressed. You know what I think what we would consider normal, mm-hmm. and uh, they ask people like, "Oh, could we get in like this?" And then a lot of people were like, "Uh, no." So they talk to a few people, and they say everyone we know that got in was wearing a fucking fishnet. So maybe we just have to wear a fishnet. Oh and yeah, because it's like a gay club. I don't know that it's necessarily gay. I just think it's like it is. That's how it started. But then it's still kind of a gay club. Like it, it has it. Like everyone goes there. Uh huh. But it still has that history, and it's like part mm. of the allure. Okay, all right. Well, either way, um, I think it it uh, well, they so they find someone who's been to they find a few people who have been to Bergheim like a bunch of times, and they're kind of giving them, you know, sort of sort of tips, and and it generally just seems like there's really no way to prepare. Like you're, it's it's a hundred percent of fifty fifty. You're either gonna get in or you're not. There's no mm-hmm. way to trick it. And so they meet up with this girl, who remains anonymous because she doesn't want to risk never getting in again, which is kind of wild. And so she helps them with their outfits and stuff. And they end up getting. It's that in. fun. It's that fun. I mean, they they said it's fucking crazy. The only thing that they give away, and I don't want to spoil it here. You should you should go watch this video if you're listening to this. They they describe the room they walk into, and it sounded like a fucking haunted house. I was pretty intrigued. And then there's this talk of the piss chamber, which is just like this shower, and I guess you can go in there and get peed on, or people just pee on each other in there, which is fucking crazy. But uh, that I feel like that's not even the weirdest shit that goes on there. No. Like, there's group sex rooms. There's, uh, like, dominatrix rooms where you can walk in and there's someone dominating another person like yeah it, it's crazy the shit i've heard from there the stories i've heard it's nuts so yeah it's like the box mm. but not a show yeah like you're in it it's, people are really just doing that and you can just walk up and just do it <laughs> it's, fucking... it's like i really gotta piss the bathroom line's really long <laughs> do you mind I'm if i just pop in the shower <laughs> i'm gonna just pee on this guy <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna pee on this guy. That's the that's is the there a poop can, room? Because yeah, oh, this <laughs> the is a stalls poop here are really gross. That's I'd the only just, time you you can ever say that sentence and not get in trouble. Fuck it, I'm gonna <laughs> pee on this guy. <laughs> and it's consensual between both parties. <laughs> so, bro, when you say, "Is it that fun?" It's it sounds like it is. Sounds like it is. I mean, a group sex room? You know how many weirdos are probably just standing there just like... Oh, you can watch. You can yeah. you can uh, participate <laughs> if you want to. It really is just a playground for your, uh, your weirdest uh, sins, your weirdest well, vices. We're never getting in just because you questioned it. And they probably have a file on everyone when you get there, so... You know. I'm not questioning anything, Bergheim, if you're listening. <laughs> I, I, if anything, I'm encouraging this. <laughs> the almighty Bergheim. <laughs> it sounds like I was listening to um, uh, uh, one of the podcasts. Oh, it was uh, Andrew Santino and, and Bobby Lee, and he was talking about he went to a party at Miley Cyrus's house. Nice. And he said it's the only house, it's the only party he's been to in Hollywood that actually lived up to like people's thoughts of what a Hollywood party would be. Okay. And he said she had, you know, she spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this on this party at her house. It was a birthday party or some shit. And it was all like they had like 
different areas in the backyard. She had this giant fucking yard, and they had it all set up and themed, and there was, like, different areas where you would go to do drugs, or you would go to, like, <laughs> mud wrestle, or you would go to, like, this area to do something else. He said it was fucking wild. That's how I imagined some, like, Bergheim being. It's just different. Yeah. Like, you just go, all of a sudden you find a new courtyard, and yeah. there's people just doing ketamine, and you're like, oh, this is a ketamine space. <laughs> I feel like it'd be, like, an asylum in there, like, long hallways with, like, flickering lights crazy music like echoing through that whole shit and you just like open up a door and it's just like nah, nah. you're like oh no sorry <laughs> now, the whole thing is that like, it's like you remember Scooby that hallway movie. in that haunted house we went down that with the inflatable yeah. shit on the sides yeah uh, yeah Blech. that's the whole thing Blech. no bro it's like a scooby-doo it's like an episode of scooby-doo like it's just people just going <laughs> in and out of doors and like little monsters and shit chasing them and every time you leave a room, your outfit's different. <laughs> and you go in one door and come out the one yeah, on the other side yeah, of the hallway. Yeah, on the other side, and you're like, huh? What? And then you go, <laughs> go into another. Piss all over your jeans. Yeah, and then a gag ball in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about that uh, guy from fucking UTA in Germany who came to our show. And then uh, we were, like, talking about this, and you're like, isn't there, like, some crazy club here? And he's like, oh, yeah, Bergheim. Bergheim. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's just yeah. like talking about being in there for fucking 25 hours. It opens on Thursday and closes on Monday and doesn't I thought it was close Friday between. Sunday. I think it's Monday morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so, it doesn't close. So and they sell toothbrushes there and shit. So people can just people just stay. If they're on like a drug bender, you can just stay. And there's areas you can sleep too. Bro, apparently just, this is all hearsay for me, but bro, lining up on Saturday morning is so crazy. Yeah. Going to a club at like 7 a.m. In just, fishnets. Yeah. Right after coffee. Just <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to get it started. It's like what heading is to shit? Bergheim. I'm yeah. heading to Bergheim. <laughs> I'm going to Bergheim. <laughs> Dude, what was that shit? Daybreakers that they were doing out here? Uh, Yeah, that rings a bell. What is that? It, like you like um it was like a, a they basically had like a club at like six in the morning five six in the morning and it was for office people to party in the morning and then go to work <laughs> what dude it was i only know about it because uh my boy eric um he was helping his girl uh, and, and at the time she was like working with a friend who was starting like a beverage company so they were sponsoring one of the Daybreaker events. And so he had to go there, and he was just helping them, like, pa like hand out drinks and, or whatever. And he said, dude, it was fucking wild. Like, people just... He said either these people were rolling in after having partied from, like, somewhere else in L.A., or they were just straight up, like, you know... Cause I'm it, Googling I think, this, by the way. I think they did it... Did it on, like, a Friday morning, I think? Uh, yeah, hold up. Daybreakers. Daybreakers LA. L mm. Live, get ready to wake up and dance. Daybreaker. <laughs> dance party. What? Yeah. So Yeah, it says sober rave, but... Cause, sober rave. Yeah, Eric was saying, no way, brother. <laughs> he says some like, of those guys uh, were this is like a way too sweaty. Silent disco for yuppies. Just before you head into f the Facebook offices, stop by Daybreaker for a pancake and a and a rave. <laughs> Eric listens to the podcast, so Eric, if I fucked up one of these details, you got to let me know. The but it was whatever. What's up, Eric? By the way. Yeah. Either way, he was there, and and uh, what I'm saying is we got to go to Daybreaker now. <laughs> Definitely, dude. As soon as it's uh you know legal and safe. Oh my god, dude. We'll go. Can you imagine this? I think, dude, I think I think Gid went to one of those, too. It sounds really corporate it, uh, on the yeah. website. Yeah. We got to do, we got to go to one before we record the podcast. Like, comes <laughs> fresh from Daybreaker. I mean, that'd be good. That'd be good Neon material, paint, so. like, on our faces and shit like that. <laughs> What's up, guys? We just pupils, had a crazy morning. Yeah, pupils big as shit. <laughs> um, it was definitely sober. Very sober. <laughs> no, but we're actually sober. You it's think? just the energy of the rave that yeah, the, the, makes the us feel like going. we're rolling. 
I I don't know why I love the thought of like all these corporate twenty five <laughs> to thirty year olds st- actually staying sober and going to this rave before work. Because <laughs> it's yeah. like a it feels like some it feels like something you do on a corporate retreat. Yeah, 